I had a very rare form of an abdominal cancer. It looked like someone had cut a baseball in half and attached it to my side. We knew that I was going to need to see an oncologist. The surgeon recommended Dr. Stone of Cleveland Clinic to me. I had six weeks of daily radiation treatment to my abdomen. I had a follow-up appointment with Dr. Stone. There's never anything worse than having treated a patient for their cancer and then doing the first scan as a follow-up thinking that everything is going to be wonderful. When we did that first scan and the PET scan lit up in her axilla and in her breast and it was a shock to me as well as having to tell her. That was probably one of the worst moments for me as a doctor thinking I fixed one problem and here I have to tell them something horrible that there's something else going on. Even though I had the cancer in only one breast, I chose to do the right breast prophylactically. A couple of weeks later had the port put in and began chemotherapy. The nursing staff in the chemo room was just phenomenal. So caring and so gentle made sure you understood what was going on. I'm the kind of person that I want to know what's going on. When I was finishing up the chemotherapy and I'd started back to work, I was not in a great frame of mind. I have a mother who has this nasty neurological disease that's, that's going downhill. I have a job that has many, many demands. I just was so tired and, and had no strength to do anything. I was seeing Dr. Stone for just regular follow-up and she walked into the office and she said, I don't like what I see. What happened to my glasses half full person? And I just burst into tears and I remember telling her, I can't take care of anyone, I can't do anything to help my sister with my mother. I felt like I was a huge burden, I couldn't do very much. And Dr. Stone said, something has to give and it can't be you because you've already taken a beating. You can't do this. So I went home and for two days I cried. And the third day I said, wait a second, when did I become this poor pitiful pearl? I think if they haven't had a time to reflect on what they've been through, given themselves a time to grieve over that diagnosis, it really hits them. And I had to see Dr. Stone the following week, and I said, well, I want to thank you for the kick me in the butt talk because you got my attention. And I really believe that if she hadn't done that, I would have been a completely different person in a different situation. She treated me as a whole person, and that is just so critical. I and very fortunate to work with a group of individuals that are outstanding. We are a family and we try to run it as such. I think Cleveland Clinic has taken the role of caregiver to an all new level. It's from every step of the way. They understand and they get the fact that you're, you have some level of anxiety and they're going to do what they can to eliminate or reduce the anxiety. Make sure you're comfortable. It just gives you as a patient a level of ease, a level of comfort that you just don't see anywhere else.